Last week did not show any variety of macroeconomic data. The U.S. dollar index dropped slightly. According to investors, the June Fed meeting materials, which were released Wednesday, contained a hint of the quantitative easing policy completion this October. This is certainly a positive factor for the dollar. After all, more than $2 billion have already been printed. However, investors did not welcome the statements made by the Fed spokesman the day before. Particularly, Narayana Kuchalakota from Minneapolis claimed that the U.S. labor market is still a long way to achieve the Fed employment targets. Let us remind you that the U.S. unemployment rate dropped from 10% at the recession peak to 6.1% in June. Kuchalakota believes that this is not enough. It should be just a little above. 5%. One more Fed spokesman, Jeffrey Lecker, the head of the regional bank in Richmond, expressed his concern over the increased inflation in the United States. In his opinion, the GDP growth in the second half of 2014 should not be less than 2.25-2.5%, whereas the consumer price growth might prevent it. Market participants considered all that as the Fed being reluctant to abandon the loops man monitor policy established in order to stimulate the economy. That means low interest rates may be kept even after the completion of the third round of quantitative easing. Probably the dollar weakening could have been more significant having been for the financial issues of the Portuguese Banco Espirito Santo, which appeared on Tuesday and Thursday. Market participants were frightened of the possible onset of a new banking crisis, which resulted in the weakening of the euro against the dollar. An important supplementary factor in the US dollar strengthening was the reduction in the number of initial claims per week to 304,000 people and wholesale inventories up to 0.5%. The current week, there will be a lot of macroeconomic data from the United States. Tomorrow's semi-annual report of the Fed CEO, Janet Yellen, can be the most important information in the U.S. Senate. In addition, on Tuesday, retail sales for June, business inventories and import-export price indices will be released. We believe the preliminary forecasts for these indicators are positive. But on Wednesday and Thursday, the whole portion of statistics will be released in the U.S. It is expected to be moderately negative for the dollar. During the same two days, the main weekly indices for the euro will be announced in the eurozone, the trade balance and inflation. Their forecasts testify in favor of this single currency. On Friday, the University of Michigan Consumer Confidence Index and the leading indicator will be released. Their forecasts look positive for the dollar, and in general, this week is expected to be exciting and quite volatile.